Hey YouTube. So this is my bridging test on the Prusar i3 Mark II. Um, I actually did this a little while ago and it's just taken ages to get around to uh, doing this little bit of the video. Um, so the first one, um, so you can see he's got these columns. Um, the distance between the inner side of that column and the other one is 15 uh, millimeters here. No, sorry, 25 millimeters. Um, so 2.5 centimeters here, 50 millimeters, 5 centimeters here, 75 millimeters, 7.5 centimeters, and 100 millimeters. 10 centimeters. So I want to see what it would be like with um, detect bridging clicked, uh, ticked, sorry, on Slicer Prusa Edition. And also I did it on just normal settings, um, which I think is 0.2. Um, I have got a photo, so I'll put that up now. And there we go. Um, okay, so that photo shows basically what. Um, the settings were. Um, anyway, so it should detect the bridging and then kind of adjust for that. So increase fan speed. Um, I think maybe start extruding a bit before it goes across or something. Um, and go a bit slower, I think, also. So the PLA has time to cool down. Um, anyway, so I'll take a look at the first one, which is the 50 millimeters one. So as you can see here, um, didn't do too bad. The focus. Go a little bit away. Let's try this. Uh, almost. Hang on a sec. Mm, I don't want to focus too much. Let's go there instead. So you can see it's not too bad. Um, so what I did, I did it with no infill, so it would just be so a few layers going up. But if we zoom in a bit, we might be able to see it a bit better. Mm, sorry about not focusing too well there. Um, but we can see it's relatively straight, but has a slight droop like that. I mean, that's not the end of the world, but I guess if it was something really obvious, you may be able to notice that. So let's put that over there. Uh, next one we have is the 50 millimeters. Let me just zoom out again. Uh, sorry, yeah, the 50 millimeters. Um, as you can see again, it's a slight bit of droop. Try and no, sorry about that. It really doesn't like focusing on these little small bits here. Um, so there's a slight bit of droop, um, but again, not too bad if I hold it like that. Um, obviously the top has gone pretty nice and straight. Um, yeah, yeah, no, nothing too bad. Um, the temperature was done at, what was the temperature? 230 Celsius, I think. I might have done 220 for this one, I think it was. Sorry, yes, 220, because this is Hatchbox Silver PLA, and I found that whilst doing silver on this and also... Primer select or primer filament, something like that. Um, I had to do a hotter temperature each time, otherwise, it just would not adhere. So, uh, I wonder if that's a common trait. Um, so, let me know in the comments if you've experienced the same thing with silver PLAs. So, then this one this is uh, 75 millimeters, and as you see, it's got quite a big droop there. Um, let's try and zoom. Uh, if I do this. Nah, it's never going to focus properly, is it? Um, anyway, you can see it droops quite a bit there. Um, and, yeah, it doesn't look the best. Um, in fact, you can see where this line separation, layer separation, sorry, like that. So I can kind of squeeze it. Um, so a little bit annoying there. That's a bit better. So we can squeeze that. Yeah, um, not looking the best. Um, but again, not terrible. I mean, it hasn't drooped down, like, drastically like that. Uh, last one is the 100 millimeters, um, and as you see, this has got quite a big separation between the layers and some loose bits coming off here. So I can almost pick them off there. You can see them there breaking apart slightly at the bottom. Um, so I mean, it could have been worse. It could have been hanged down a lot, um, but you know, it's it's not the best. Um, I mean. It could be a better fan maybe installed. Uh, I know some people install a different fan. Uh, I'm not sure if that's just for noise though or whether they think it is better. Um, maybe because it, it's, I think there's a fan attachment on the Prusa i3 Mark II where if this is the hot end and that here, the fan's right against it trying to get rid of the hot air. But I think uh, the fan sits out here instead so it, it kind of brings cooler air down to the, um, to the end of the nozzle. Um, so yeah, so anyway, that's um, a bridging test. I may do um, a bridging test for like, you know, 
230 millimeters or 250 millimeters or something and just do this long diagonal and see how it copes with that um may do that not too sure um but anyway what i'll do i'll just leave a little time lapse here just showing the prints going um and uh, i will catch you in the next video cheers for watching um some good content coming cheers bye